Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Hi. Good evening. Jorge, good evening, Sandra, Carlos, Jancy, Denise, and uh, Melanie. How are you guys? Como están? Tell me. How are you? Good, bad, sleepy, hungry, angry. Good evening, good evening Denise. I am really tired today. You are really <laughs> tired today. I am sorry. Yes. Yes. I am sorry. It's I think it's normal, you know. It's it's Wednesday. Yes, miércoles. You know, it's uh like the middle of the week or half of the week. We we tend to be a little tired. Yes. All right. Uh, people, I, I have uh, I have some information to show you. I think this information has been shared to you already. What am I doing here? I think this information has been shared with you already, but I have to share it with you in this way, you know, uh, we all know what's going on. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm guessing you already know that on Friday, as you can see, I'm showing you, I'm sorry about my dog. I am sorry, my dog is barking. <laughs> there is nothing I can do, no puedo hacer nada. <laughs> There's nothing I can do, people. I'm sorry. It's, it's, a, nice it's, a, good, it's a good notice. No, I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, look, uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm tired. You're tired. I, huh? I, 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 uh, yeah. No, no, I'm kidding. Okay, it's okay. So as you know, as you know, and as you have uh, read on the social media, on Friday, July the 7th, we will not have our session, okay? Our last session of the week is going to be tomorrow, Thursday, yes. So uh, our session for, for Friday is not going to happen, all right? As you can see, the information is official, so... It is not it is not going to happen, okay? Yes. Okay, people? Yes. Friday, no session, okay? We vacation, people, three days of vacation. Yes. Three days to party, to party, to party like a crazy person. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Three days to sleep, people, to, to rest. Yes. All right. Yeah, uh, sleep. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me show you what we're going to do. Uh, there are only eight people, nine with me already. We're going to wait a couple of more minutes to take attendance. Before we take attendance, we're going to start and we're going to review so what we studied or what we practiced yesterday. Yesterday, oh, people, do you remember what we were talking about yesterday? Do you remember our topic or topics? Uh, the use of could and could not. Okay, the use of could and could not. Yes, exactly, exactly. What else? What else, guys? Good evening, teacher. Uh, we practice with can and cool. Okay, we practice with can and could. Yes. Okay, we practice with can and could. 
All right, yes. Yesterday we were practicing or studying how to use can and how to use could. All right, yes. We concluded, we concluded that can and could can be used in the same situations, right? It can be used for possibilities, for abilities, for inabilities, etc. Yes, we can use can and could in the same situations. The difference is that can it tends to be very common or informal, and could is softer or polite or formal. Yes. And uh, here it is, the list of uh, situations in which we can use can and could. For example, oh, can and could are modal verbs, okay? Modal verbs, that's, uh, that's why they're called modal, okay? They show you modes, different modes. So can is used to express abilities, inabilities, possibilities, requests, permissions, and prohibition. That's how we use can, or those are the situations in which can can be used. Could, on the other hand, is used in less situations. Past ability, still ability, but it's a past ability. Inability in here, in here is in past ability with couldn't. Possibility, the same thing. Request, permission, you know, uh, impossibility, request, and permission could is more formal than can. All right. Yes. That's how we use them. And I do have some examples. Look at them. Uh, I changed the names. The information is the same that I showed you yesterday. So let me read, read this information. Can, ability. Brian can draw nice portraits. Okay, that's an ability that Brian has. I have one ability. Oh, no, wait. Can you mention people, one person? Can you mention one ability or one example of an ability? Anybody? Um, Luis? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excellent. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Because you you like to practice, <laughs> yes. Okay, Victoria. Yes, Victoria. I I don't know sure that is correct. Um, Luis can ride. No, Luis can ride a bicycle. Okay, Luis can ride a bicycle. Yes, ride. Yes. Okay. Exactly. That's uh Luis's uh, uh skill or ability. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, we're not going to take away our uh, Denise motivation or inspiration of Denise. Go ahead, just give an example. Okay? And also Ismael. Uh, no, 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 it was Carlos Orrego. Yes. Uh, I can swim. Okay, I can swim. Yes. All right, excellent. You can survive in the ocean. I can't. I will die. Actually, I can't, but it's an example <laughs> only. <laughs> you can't. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, people. You know, swimming, I, I don't know why, but I have this phobia. Well, I have aquaphobia. Like, when I see water, I get scared. Only in the ocean, okay? Only in the ocean. I take a shower, okay? Don't worry, I take a shower. <laughs> I, take a, <laughs> I take a shower. <laughs> Only, like, like deep places, like the, the ocean or, or places that look scary, you know? Uh, I know. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good, people. Uh, Carlos, do you have an example? You were kind of uh, about to, to yes, say something. Uh, um, for example, Roberto mm -hmm. can draw with your feet. Mm, Roberto can draw with his his feet, draw, not my feet. Draw. His, <laughs> oh, sorry. His, <laughs> sorry, his feet. <laughs> sorry. Exactly, you're right, exactly, exactly. Okay, okay, very good. We got okay. it, we got it. <laughs> Hey, that's a good like, ability, huh? Okay, let's continue with the next one. That one is the opposite. Something that we cannot do, okay? Or that we don't have. Inability. Rachel can't speak Italian, okay? Rachel doesn't have the ability of speaking Italian, so we express, we're we expressing 
that we can't. Okay. People, can you quickly can you quickly express an example or give me an example with can't expressing an inability? I'm not sure about it. I can't ride a bicycle. Really? <laughs> okay. I can't <laughs> ride a bicycle. All right. It's uh the same example as we had before, but in a negative form. Possibility is something that can or might or may happen or may not happen. We don't know. That's why it is called possibility, okay? Puede, puede. Puede pasar, no puede pasar, okay? And look at example. Jancy can pass the exam. Jancy can go to the U.S. Uh, Jancy can... Uh, what else can I say, man? <laughs> Yes, he can, uh, uh, my lord, sleep early. Uh, Jancy can call her family today. You know, we have many possibilities. Let's continue. And after that, we will ask or we will have some people participating. Let me continue. Request. Request is something that we need a person to do. Uh, okay. Or we need a favor from that person for example can you open the window all right we need a person to open the window we need a favor so that that's how we use can in that case to ask for help or to ask or to request something okay request means solicitar okay or basically un favor request more examples can be can you help me can you help me? Can you help me? It is it is request, okay? Because you need a favor from a person. Can you give me a ride? Can you give me a ride? Request, okay? Request, because you need a favor or a, that favor from the person. Permission is when you're asking your family, your boss, your superior, your girlfriend, your wife, your ex, etc. I don't know. You're asking for permission, okay? Like, can I do this? Can I go to this place? Can I eat this? Can I drink this? Right? Uh, we got an example. Can I go to the party? Yes, that's a very easy example. Another one can be from, I mean, from school. Can I go to the restroom or can I go to the bathroom? Very common, yes, okay? Prohibition is something not allowed by law. Prohibido, okay, por la ley, yes, yes, exactly. In this, in this case, can't for prohibition is it's okay, it's okay. Can't for prohibition, yes. Uh, it doesn't share, it doesn't express uh something informal. It just expresses prohibition, but that prohibition is not informal, okay. It's like a real prohibition, okay. You can't drive with no license. That's uh, illegal, okay? It's, pro pro it's prohibition, so. In these cases, we can, for prohibition, it doesn't matter if it is formal or informal, no. Okay, that one doesn't matter. Prohibition is prohibition, it's okay, yes. Example, tenants can't have pets in their apartments, okay? Could, it's basically the past form of can. Es el pasado de can, es el could, okay? Y se usa para suavizar Cualquier cosa que queramos expresar con could. Yes. Okay. And that's why they that goes or it goes formal. Past ability is something that we had in the past, but this activity or this ability doesn't exist or we don't have it, we don't have it in the present. Anna could play the guitar, that's the past, but she had an accident. Anna podía tocar la guitarra, pero tuvo un accidente. So that's a past ability, okay? Something we had in the past. Past inability is the opposite of past ability. Past inability is something that we didn't, we didn't have in the past, but we have now. We have now. For example, people, I could not drive a car in my case. I could not drive a car. No podía manejar un carro. Esa era mi, mi inabilidad pasada. Okay. I can now, okay? Más o menos. Yes. 
<laughs> well, I haven't killed nobody. I haven't killed anybody, so no problem. <laughs> yes. I haven't had any accidents, so. Okay, look. Denise couldn't drive, but she took classes. And now, in the present, she can, okay? It's easy for her to, to drive. Possibility is the same as can. In these cases, we're expressing basically the same. Sandra could study French, okay? Sandra could study French, yes. Request is the same as can. Remember, here it has to be about formal and, and, and uh, informality and formality, all right? Request, can you send the report, please? And permission, that which one is which is not very common. Could I share something? Podría compartir algo? Okay. Yes. Now, do you have any questions, people? No, no questions. Easy, right? No question, teacher. It, it can't be easier. No puede ser más fácil. It can't be easier, right? <laughs> Okay, it's, excellent it's, people, excellent. It's very, okay. it's very easy. I think it's very easy. Yes. <laughs> yes, know. it is. It is. Okay, people, I want you guys to come up. I told you what come up is, right? Come up with. Inventar. Come up with. Wait. Not inventar. Es, es generar. Wait. Okay, there you go. I want you guys, I want you guys to come up with your own examples using can or could. Okay, only one. Only one. Yes. And while while you're thinking about your example, I'm going to take attendance. Okay. Mientras piensan en el ejemplo, pasaré asistencia. All right. Let me do that. Okay. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Azalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, thank you, Melanie. Brian David Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you, Brian Carlos Alberto Orrego. Present teacher, present. Thank you, Carlos Eliezer Dimas Soriano. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Denis Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Thank you. Diana Yamile Maravilla Navas. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Edith Present. Adilia Hernandez. Tacón. Present. Thank you, Edith. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Present teacher. Thank you, Ismael Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. I haven't seen Mari Mayra there. No, está. she's not here. Okay. Rafael Alejandro Morales Avila. I think this person is not going to continue. Okay. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Raquel. Sandra Ives Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Sara Rachel Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you, Sara. And Jancy Andrea Solortano. Present teacher. All right. Fantastic. People, thank you very much. Let's begin. Okay. Let's begin. Hit me. Hit me. No me volteen. Hit me. People, hit me. Alguien, hello. Can I go to the movie movie theater? Okay, can I go to the movie theater? You're asking for permission. Yes, your example is correct. Thank you. People, let's continue. Go, go. You can, you can be, no, you can call me. Okay, you can call me. Okay, yes, your yeah. example is correct. That, that one is possibility, right? 
you can call me or ability, depending on the context. You can call me, can be ability or possibility, depending on how the context is. Thank you, Sara, for example, and Denise, thank you as well. People, continue. Me, teacher. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Ray. No, no, okay. no, uh, uh, let's continue, you. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, For example, uh, my mom couldn't, couldn't cook, but uh, but my grandmother showed showed her. Okay, my mother couldn't cook, yes. but my my grandma showed her. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank she you. couldn't cook. Okay. Yeah. Uno puede. <laughs> no. Okay. Joke. It's a joke. Brian. Yes. Yeah. I will like play video games at midnight. Repeat, please. I would like play video games at midnight. Oh, I, that would be, I would like to play video games at midnight. I would like to play. Yes. Sorry, I would like to play video games at midnight. Okay, your example is correct, uh, but we're not working with would. Okay, we're working with can and could brand. Yes, but example is fine. And I think, I think we're going to study wood tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Yes, I haven't seen the, the, the next lesson, so I don't know what the lesson is about. I think it's about wood. Okay. Uh, I, have a, I have a question for this topic, teacher. Okay, you can ask me after class, don't worry. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, para poder entender mejor, en la tarde yo coloqué una pequeña captura sobre yeah. las tareas que están en la plataforma, donde yo estaba realizando el llenado de el llenado de unas oraciones que se tienen que ordenar las palabras. Sin embargo, logré corroborar que las coloqué correctamente, pero el sistema me las colocaba de manera errada. O no sé si yo soy el que estuve mal. En el grupo de WhatsApp las coloqué. No sé si me puede ayudar a esclarecer eso. Eso si yo lo hice mal o es un error. Let me check. Yes, they are incorrect. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the first one is I would like like I would like to change this product and uh we wouldn't like but verbo we wouldn't like to buy we wouldn't like to buy in this place in this place we would not like to buy in this place I would like to change this product yes ah, okay 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 Thank you. Thank you. But the but the word "lie" in the first sentence is missing, teacher. In the in the first sentence, we don't have "lie" exactly. Yes. So that's the that, that's the, the 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 mistake. In the other example, we're missing uh the verb, and we're using the preposition in the wrong way. The preposition too. I mean, we would not like. Bye. Teacher, bueno, yo tuve inconveniente con esas dos. Yes. Okay. Sí, y, no y, uh, también. Si el error persiste. Me too, aunque, teacher. Yes. Entiendo, entiendo. Si el error persiste, aunque lo escriban correctamente, avísenme para reportarlo. Ya sea todos, 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 no solo uno. Porque esa a veces es un error de la plataforma, ¿ok? Solo acepta, acepta un, un uh, ejemplo, ya sea con contracción, sin contracción, o mayúscula, o minúscula, no sabemos qué tipo de, 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 de oración es, pero a veces solo acepta un, una, una, una forma. Entonces, si, if you guys continue having this example, I mean, this mistake, let me know. Let me know, in that way I will report. Okay, para reportarlo, sí que me avisan. Ahí le corregí, Brian, ese sería nomás el, 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 el errorcito que tenía ahí. Yes. It's clear, teacher. Thank you. Yes. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Carlos Eliezer, give us an example. <clears throat> yes, teacher. And can you call me tonight? Okay. Why? <laughs> okay. Can you call me tonight? <laughs> yes. Yes. People, what, what is that? Ability or possibility? What is it? Or a request? What do you it's think? A it's a request. It's, it's, it's a request. Yes. Okay. It's request. Thank you, Brian. Uh, thank you, uh, Carlos, for your example. Let's continue with more people. I would like to hear an example from Melanie.
Can you come back later? Can you come back later? Yes. Okay, the example is perfect. Can you come back later? Later. Right, later. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Let's continue. Can you go to the church with me? Okay, can you go to church with me? To church. Yes. There are some verbs, there are some some words. Uh let me see to church. To church no lleva el da, to the church, okay. To college tampoco lleva ese ese. To college, to school. Okay. Para decir en la escuela o a la escuela decimos to school, no decimos to the school. Si decimos to the school, hablamos de una escuela específica. Okay, so you have to be very careful about it. Okay, yes, to church, to college, to school. Yes, excellent. Let's continue. Ismael, do you have an example, Ismael? Um, can you attend to the meeting? Okay, can you attend the meeting? Yes, yes. All right, thank you. Let's continue. Let me see. Diana, do you have one? Uh, okay. Uh, I can't make dinner tonight. Repeat it. I can't make dinner tonight. I can make dinner tonight. Yes. 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 Okay. I can make dinner tonight. I believe it. Yes. All right. Let me continue with uh, Raquel Elizabeth. You can write a book. Okay. You can write a book. Yes. I wrote a book before, but, but I lost it. Lo perdí. En la compu me perdió. Lástima. Yes. 200 pages. Let me continue with another person. Jancy, do you have an example, Jancy? No. Okay, Edith, what about you, Edith? Um, can, can Charlie... Go to the movies on Saturday. Okay, can Charlie go to the movies on Saturday? Yes, the example is perfect. Yes, thank you for sharing it. Uh, Jorge, have you shared one? Could you... Uh, uh, could you um, work with me? Okay, could you work with me? Yes. Could you work with me? That is request. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Jorge, for your participation. And thank you, everyone, for your uh, constant participation. Okay. That's what I want from everybody. Okay. To be always active and participating. Uh, today, we're going to continue studying the models. Models. Today, we're going to study two of them that are similar and different at the same time. Okay, but they are brothers, all right? They are siblings, uh, and uh, they are very, very similar. We're going to see that. We're going to see that later on. Right now, we're going to continue or start on page number, excuse me, page number 20, 23. If you go to page number 23, you're going to find this information. You need two online orders and refunds. Uh, today, I will be able to give and ask for opinion uh, about a, pro a customer's satisfaction on of a product, okay? So that's what we are going to learn today. And I'm going to ask you this question. How was the last experience of a customer's purchase? Satisfying or dissatisfying? Why? People. How was the last experience of a customer's purchase? Good or bad? Satisfying or dissatisfying? Explain why. Let me see. People? Um, sometimes insatisfying. Dissatisfying. Some, no, but, but it says here the last one, the last experience, la última experiencia que tuvo. The last experience you um, had. Is satisfied because the board, ¿cómo se puede decir? En la forma. I'm sorry. Si las personas have... O sea, en la forma que las personas a veces 
in the way that people in the way the people in the way eh, that people the expression express themselves the express okay the, themselves okay this is my experience Okay, all right. Thank you for, for that. Uh, anybody else? Tell me about your last experience with a customer. Uh, was it satisfying? Was it dissatisfying? Tell me. The last experience teacher, um, I remember. The last experience, the client, I don't know, uh, the last experience was uh, the client is satisfying. What happened? Yeah, uh, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it was uh, two years ago, three years ago. I don't remember, but... Uh, uh, but the client gone is satisfying because the in this moment uh, co-workers uh, the, the client sorry the client don't like the way the way mm -hmm. that the uh, that my co uh, co-workers okay no como la trató no la trató you didn't like, you didn't don't like, try, don't try, don't try, treat, okay, treat. don't treat, uh, don't treat well, okay, oh. I don't know is, okay, you, you were not yeah, treated, yeah. treated well, yeah, yeah, uh, but I don't remember, but yes, uh, I, I remember that the client is, is it's, it's gone, it's gone, it's satisfied, mm -hmm. For okay. the way the for the for the way that my coworker treat treat uh, treat the, treat her treat it. or treat treat, it, her. treat it. yes exactly okay yes. all right okay I'm sorry to hear that Carlos but thank you for the example for the experience uh let's continue guys continue sharing your experience. Hello. Let's go, people. Oh. Let me choose a person directly. Uh, Victoria, tell us about you and the last experience you had with a customer. Uh, my experience was fine. Oh, what is the thing? Um, well, that's fine. Some days ago, I bought um batteries in Amazon for mm -hmm. I I don't know what say uh, audiphones. Uh, earpods or head uh headphones earphones earphones you can say. Uh -huh. I I bought batteries for earphones. Mm -hmm. For my, for my uh, daughter, Hans, um, 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 my package arrived uh, before um the time. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so you you were satisfied, all right, yes, yeah. Uh, I had I have a very bad experience, but that this one was like five or six years ago. I ordered something from China, yes, and uh, I received something completely different. <laughs> yes, uh, do you know liquid paper or white out? I guess on white out. So I asked for something that was for, for uh, I don't remember what it was about, but uh, 
I bought these things, right? To use them, to use them in a different uh, situation. Mm -hmm. And what I received was something that uh, was completely different. <laughs> that was dissatisfied, by the way. Very bad. Yes. China is not a good place to order things, you know. So from China, don't order anything. <laughs> all right. Let's continue. Let me show you some other person. One more person. All right. Let me see if uh, Ismael can help us. Ismael? Yes, teacher. Uh, one question. Is our experience like a customer or like a seller or, or company? I think it's, I think it's like uh, as a seller. As a seller, right? Yes. Uh, well, or company don't exactly sell items or products. Uh, or company is about construction. So... Mm -hmm. I don't have a specific um, experience about <laughs> customer purchasing. Okay, okay, I understand. And then we're good. We're good. Thank you, Ismael, for sharing. All right, everyone, uh, thank you for your participation. Look, we're going to continue with the part number two. It says there, read a survey about a customer's experience with a product we have five items if i'm not mistaken or four 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 items look it says how satisfied are you with this product very satisfied satisfied dissatisfied and very dissatisfied rate your opinion about the product's quality High quality, average, low quality, very low quality. The value of this product is excellent, good, or very poor. Will you continue using this product? Yes or no? No. <laughs> okay. Guys, do you have any questions about the vocabulary from these questions or items? No, in my case, here. No, okay. Uh, let me just clear anything. You might have any questions here. Rate, it looks like evaluate, okay? You evaluate something, right? You give it a grade from one to 10, okay? That's what, what rate is. Give an evaluation or give it a review about something. Average, average is something common. Okay, regular. That's what average is. Okay, común. Okay, regular. Yes. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to ask you people. I'm going to ask you questions about some companies. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you these questions. Okay, about some famous companies, and you're going to tell me if you're satisfied or not. Yes. Do you follow me? Yes. Okay, for yes, example, teacher. let me let me start. Let me start. I'm going to start with you, Sara. Hi. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay. The question for you is you you can answer with these ones. You can say very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, and very satisfied. And the question is A. How how satisfied are you with Adidas shoes? Sara? Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> how satisfied are you with Adidas shoes? Um, is the one all house series yes that's the first one you can choose the uh, one of them yes the series why are they the shoes <laughs> ah the shoes my shoes shoe. adidas my... shoes uh, no it's it, it, it's not your shoes it's it's adidas shoes ah very mm -hmm. satisfying adidas shoes oh very, very satisfying <laughs> Okay, uh, let me see. Let me continue, uh, Sara. 
uh, tell me, rate, rate the quality of the product. The Adidas shoes. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, high quality. <laughs> okay, high quality. People we know, right? It is high quality. Yes. Those, those things are, son, duran, duran para siempre, son pato. Duran un montón. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's okay. Thank you, Sara, for that. It's just, you know, to, to express something very simple. Sandra, hello. Hello, teacher. How how satisfied are you with your uh, makeup? Your Will makeup you brand. With your makeup brand. My my um, makeup brand. Brand. Ah, I don't use it. <laughs> How satisfied are you with your makeup brand? Very dissatisfied. <laughs> oh no, why? What happened? Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh that's okay. Rate rate the quality of the product. Very low. Very <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, what's what's this famous famous uh makeup line from this uh American girl? I don't remember the L'Oreal. name. L'Oreal. Jenner or something? I don't know. Macpacto. Macpacto. You know, guys. Ustedes sí saben. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Very good. Let me continue. Eliezer. Hi. Hi, teacher. Yes. How satisfied are you with Chelito's chains? Uh, I don't, I don't know where is Chelito's. <laughs> no, no I don't believe you. People Chelito's? No, I don't know either. What? Oh, no. <laughs> What's oh, that? It's, it's a, it's a very famous. Carretilla, can I get a Kayes? The city, the Don Hong Kong, the Hong Kong, yes. It's from Mosin and Pais. Chelitos, no Chelitos. No? No. No, teacher. It's Panechuco. You should. You should. It, they are they are very famous. Well, era más más famoso antes que no es chelito que ahora ahora hay un montón de de panes. No son los matanitos. Exactly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let me change the question. Uh, uh, what? Very. Sorry? <laughs> very? What, is, what is chelitos? Chelitos. Es un hot dog. Where? Worthy. Very delicious. And las calles. Everywhere. Chelito. I don't, I don't have idea. Where do I you never, live, teacher? I, I never, never, I never, I never see, see it. I never see it and I, I never. know that. Sure is very, very famous around your, your hometown. Es que sí, sí, era bien común este, esa, esa compañía de Chelito. Se hizo bien, bien Chelitos. famosa. En un, hace un par de años. Y ahora como hay un montón de, de, de vendedores de, de panes, Chelitos. Entonces, <laughs> uh -huh. yes. Yes. Sí. Se they are very delicious. They are very delicious. Yes. Believe it Don't or not, they are good. Where, some, some where do you buy? On the streets. On the streets. Where yes. uh, where exactly? I don't I cannot it's tell you. Salvador. In todos, in todos lados. Yes. Oh, they, anywhere. Are, they are everywhere. They are everywhere. All right. Yes. I don't know. All right. <laughs> we're, we're doing some propaganda here, but let's continue. <laughs> All right. It's your company, me... really? No. <laughs> I wish I had a company. Let's continue. Uh, let me see. Jansi? Jansi is not there. Okay, let me see. Raquel, Elizabeth? Yes. Yes, you. Okay. Yes. Your question is, is, is very simple. How satisfied how satisfied are you with China Walk? We know this one. 
is satisfying. 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 Okay. And uh, can you can you rate can you rate the quality of the food? Um, I, I, I don't know. Average. 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 Yes. Que significa común, okay, normal. Yes. All right. Average. Yes. Let me try with uh, one more person. One more person. Jorge? Yes? How satisfied are you with uh, Ford? The car company, Ford. Can you repeat the number, the name of company, please? Yes, Ford. 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 Yes. Ford. Ford. Yes, ah. like for fo for focus for escape. Yes. Uh, so the question, okay. the question is how, one how time, satisfied. One time, uh, 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 years ago, I drive a uh, for focus car, and mm -hmm. that's okay. It's satisfying. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you rate the quality of the car, or cars? I'm sorry, can you repeat? Please. Can you rate can you rate the quality of the car? Yes, um high quality. Okay, high quality. All right, all right. Thank you guys for your participation. Let's move on. Continuemos. And uh, there is a part three that we need to do. Look, pair work. Read the information again to answer the questions. Compare with a partner. People, let's go. Number one, uh, let me read it and you give me the answer. How was the customer's experience? How was the customer's experience, people? It's about the, the, the questions up there. Teacher, I hear uh, some people are unsatisfied, unsatisfied with the experience. No, no, but up here, arriba, como esta? Vamos a ver. Look, yes, Ismael is right. The person is very, or well, the person is dissatisfied. So we can say here, the customer is, the customer is, let me write it down. The customer is there. You go. That is that is fine. I don't know how to spell it, people. <laughs> yes. The second one says. Is the product a good one or a bad one? What do you think? Is the product a good one or a bad one? The product is bad. I'm sorry? The product is poor. Okay, the product is bad or good? Old, the old? Come on, the old, the old. Bad. Bad, bad one. Okay, it's a bad one. It's a bad one. Yes, that's why. That's why the customer is dissatisfied. You know, because the it's a bad one. It's it's a bad one. Think about possible problems the customer had with the pro with the product. People, we what kind of what kind of possible problems or what kind of pro uh, problems do you think this person had? What kind of problems do you think this person had with the product? Tell me. Bad quality. Bad quality, all right, that's one. Continue. For example, the product, it's a fresh. 
Fresh. Nick Carter, you're fresh. Yes. Oh, okay. Boy. Crash this one. Do you want do you want thrash or crash? Crash. Crash. Roto. Averiado. Oh it's broken. Obsolete. Obsolete. Broken. Broken. It's a it's correct. Broken. It, it, yes. it's okay, si, 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 si decimos de, si decimos que, que está crashed, es como que la, algo, algo lo, lo, lo golpeó. Yes. Exactly. Uh, it, it, the the current war is uh, broken. Broken, yes, broken. Broken, you know. yes. Or you can say broken, defective. You can say obsolete. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> damaged. Damaged. The product okay. is damaged. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Please. What else, people? ¿Qué más? What other problems do you think this person had with the product? No. Okay, that's okay, it's okay. Let's continue. Let me erase this. Now, we're gonna go on and we're gonna work on part number four. Part number four says how to use this one and this one. All right. For this, we're gonna go back to the presentation because I have the information in the presentation. Here it is. Okay. Yes. We already finished this. Now we're on part number four. This, how to use may, may and might. May and might. You have to remember the pronunciation because they uh, many people confuse them. The first one, the pronunciation is may. And this one's pronunciation is might. Recordemos como se dice la I en in, inglés. Se dice I, might. Como se dice la E, A, may. All right? May, might. What is the difference in what, what, uh, or in which uh, areas do we use may and might? Basically, in the in the most of the cases, we use may and might to express future, well, present or future possibilities. Okay, yes, that's how we use may and might. To express present and future possibilities. The same as can and the same as could. Yes, the same. All right. Uh, there are a few differences there, but I'm going to show you or explain to you the differences, of course. But it's just possibilities. Look, I got what may is and I got what might is. We use may and might to express present or future possibilities. Okay, mate, look, may, may over there, very formal. Ese may es bastante, bastante formal. Si lo comparamos con could, may está mucho más formal. Okay. Es casi lo mismo que could, pero sí se usa mucho más may para cosas formales. Yes. ¿Qué significa may? What does may mean in Spanish, people? Do you know? ¿Qué significa may en español? Podría. Puede, puedo, puede, puede, ok, yes, yes. Might, podría, all right, might, okay. podría, yes, yes. Ok, the first thing, the first thing that we use may and might with is possibilities. But look at that, there's a percentage. 70% and 30% of possibility. Possibility, 70% for may and uh, 30% for might. Esto quiere decir, this means that may, that may, sorry, may, that may, that may, or with may, we have more chances, we have more chances of doing the activity. With might, maybe this is not going to happen. It's not really, it's not really a very uh, solid, it's not a solid possibility. 
Let me explain this to you later. Permission, we use may. We use may for permission. It's very formal. May is very formal when you're asking for permission. Wishes. We use may for wishes as well. And we use it for prohibition. We only use might for possibilities. Posiblemente se puede usar para, para prohibición o para otra cosa, pero no es muy común. Se usa might más que todo para expresar posibilidad escasa o, o menor. Yes. Ok. There you go. Questions so far. Pregunta hasta el momento. What, what, is, wishes, what is wishes? wishes oh, sorry. wishes. Uh, como wishes. deseos. Deseo. Yes. Okay. I got it. Thank, thank you. Okay. Muy bien. Okay, let's move on. I have I have uh, May and Mike here with examples. Possibility 70%. Sandra May go to the park with her family, okay? There is a 70% of, of, of this action that will happen, okay? Yes, this action will, will well, has a, a very solid, a very solid possibility, yes. Noé and Nelson may help the children in need, okay? Yes, may help. Possibility. Podrían, ok. Nelson y, perdón, Noé y Nelson pueden ayudar a los niños en necesidad. Ok. Yes. That's a possibility. But remember, when you are expressing possibility with may, that possibility is very strong. Ok. That possibility is very strong. Yes. Uh, let me see. Permission. Formal, the same as can, lo mismo que se, se usa en can y could. Observen, can I go to the restroom? Es lo mismo, okay? The difference is the formality, all right? Yes. Usted puede decirle a cualquier persona, can I go to the restroom? But if you want to be very formal and polite with your boss, with uh, your superiors, May I, all right? May I go to the restroom? May I share something, okay? Puedo compartir algo. That is permission in a very formal way. Wishes, may you get there well. May you get there well. May Margarita and Delmi recover soon. Okay, people, ¿qué quiere decir ese may you get there well? May you, may you get there well. ¿Alguien sabe? I think in, in Spanish eh, podría estar allí o, o estar bien por ahí, no sé. Ok. I don't know. Eh, Espero, I don't know, it's correct. Podría estar bien. Podría. Espero que mejores. O deseo que esté bien. What, 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 Jorge? Deseo que esté bien. Esa es la, la no, no. Que, llegues, que llegues con bien. Que llegues con bien, yes. Porque get there, llegar ahí, bien, ok, yes. Deseo, ah, okay. Es, como decir, oh. es como decir, deseo que llegues bien, ok. Uh, la siguiente, como deseo que Margarita y Delby se recuperen pronto. En ese caso se usa me al principio para como desear que uh, el bien a una persona o en cualquier circunstancia. Por ejemplo, cuando se despiden, se despiden con alguien, usted puede decir, hey, may we, may we meet again, may, may we meet again, que significa, hey, que nos encontremos otra vez, ok, o como deseo que nos encontremos otra vez, ok, may we meet again. Ok, cuando decimos may, este es este bien común con, con, ese, con ese may para wishes. Así lo pueden echar. May, uh, may God. Decimos may God bless you. Lo ponen en el chat. May God bless you. Que significa deseo que Dios te bendiga. Ok, may God bless you. Deseo que Dios te bendiga. Así se usa ese may. Yes. 
Otro ejemplo, may, may your children be professionals. May your children be professionals. Deseo que sus hijos sean profesionales. Okay? Yes. Let's continue. Prohibition, we use may not. Se puede también usar para prohibiciones, al igual que can't. Okay? Lo mismo, es lo mismo. Uh, prohibition may not. Cell phones may not be used in banks. Okay? Los celulares no pueden ser usados en los bancos. Okay? That's a... Well, antes así era, ya no. You may smoke in class. Sorry. You may not smoke in class. No puedes fumar en clase. Okay? Yes. All right. Es lo mismo que can. No puedes. May not. Prohibition. Might is for possibilities, people. Might. Possibility. That possibility can be, that possibility can be from 20, 20% 20 to up to up to 45. Puede ser como del, del 20% al 45% de posibilidad que, que pase o no. Ok, con el might. Se, di, se dice que así es, que may es más posibilidad o expresa una posibilidad más fuerte que might. Ok, así está el nivel. Yes. Yes. Ok. Yes. All right. The examples there says, the Stella might work might work in the new company. Okay. Aquí es, pueda que Stella trabaje en la nueva compañía. Francisco might finish the inventory this week. Francisco pueda que termine, o Francisco podría terminar el inventario esta semana. Yes. Okay. Guys, do you have any questions about May and might? May and might? No? No question? No, teacher. Okay. No teacher. Remember, we're talking about possibilities, okay? El tema es sobre posibilidad, que es con may y con might. Acá se ha incluido cómo se usa también may en otras, uh, en otras áreas, como permiso, deseos y prohibición. Pero estamos enfocados solamente en posibilidad, okay? Acá está. Okay? But we can we can practice with permission, we can practice with wishes, and we can practice with prohibition because that is also important. Okay. Now uh, let's see. If you guys, if you guys don't have any questions, we have well, I have uh, some examples here. Lewis, look at this. May and might possibilities. Let's mention possibilities about the following situations. Dice, mencionemos posibilidades acerca de las siguientes situaciones. Dice, Atilio rarely studies for the exams. Atilio apenas estudia para los exámenes. People, what is the possibility here? Atilio. Atilio, uh, Atilio made, Atilio made or wrote the exam. May? Made, 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 might, Atilio might report the exam. Fail, fail. Fail. Okay. No pasar, pues. Uh, okay. Fail. 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 Okay. Atilio might fail on his exams. Excuse me. On his exams. Yes. Okay. Pero ahí dice, Atilio apenas estudia para el examen. Entonces, la posibilidad es mucho más alta. Okay. No podemos decir might. Okay. Porque es, es mucho más mayor la, la posibilidad. Atilio may. Oh. Atilio may fail on this exam because apenas estudia. Ah, okay. Entonces, so. Okay. The possibility that he is going to fail is stronger. Yes, it's much more mayor. Got it. All right. Got it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Atilio may uh, fail on his exams. Let's continue. Seguimos. There are more examples. Don't worry. There are more situations. Another one. Uh, look, Irma auditioned for her for the new Harry Potter movie. 
what is your possibility here? Or what is Irma's possibility here? Irma auditioned for the new Harry Potter movie. Hello. ¿Cuál es la posibilidad de, de Irma acá? I think, Irma I, Irma I think about that. I think about that, teacher. But, um... Audition significa uh, que, que estuvo en una audición. Yes. Yes. No. We can say, people, hello, Irma. Irma May. Eh, this one we can use both. We can use both because we don't know the level. No sé, no se puede, se llama, uh, obtener el, Pueda o podría. La, la, right. la, la, no se puede obtener el nivel de, de, de posibilidad en, la, en el ejemplo. We can say Irma may or might get the parts. Okay. Irma may or might get the part. Pueda que ella consiga la parte que, que o la, 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 para lo que audicionó. Yes. Okay. Another one. Tony is going to buy five lottery tickets. Tony comprará cinco tickets de lotería. Yes. Tony is going to buy four, five lottery tickets. People, what is the possibility here? Tony may win. win. Okay, Tony, we get on Tony. May. may win the lottery. Okay, Tony may win the lottery. Okay, people, I have a wish for you. May, may you, may you all win the lottery. Okay, okay, todos ustedes ganan la lotería, okay. <laughs> Y si la ganan, compartan, ok. No se quedan así. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> hey, no, don't be, don't be uh, stingy, all right? Don't be stingy. Don't be cheap. Cheap. <laughs> all right. Very good. So, Tony may win the lottery. We can use may because uh, he bought five. Compró cinco tickets, entonces como que aumenta mucho más la posibilidad. Ok. Aunque igual cinco son poquitos, pero... Yes, all right. Let's continue. Let's move on. I have more. Norma is going to... Oh, no. Look at this example. <laughs> Norma is going to propose to Cocolito. People. <laughs> ¿Quién es Norma? <laughs> Nadie es Norma. <laughs> all right. No, no. Que Norma se va, se va a proponer a Cocolito. ¿Cuál es la posibilidad? What is the possibility here? Norma, mate. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Norma may propose. May don't don't may may not accept accept him. Norma o Colito. No, Colito. Colito. Ajá. Colito may no accept. Ah. May not. May. May. Porque may sí sí. Okay, Mike, or that's it. How do you say al revés? Teacher in English. What? Al revés in English. <laughs> you can say the other. My accept. The other way around. Ah, okay. This is al revés. I, I say the other, the other way around. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, just way around. So Cocolito might not accept her. It's just a possibility, okay? It's we don't know. We don't know. It's just something possible. All right, let's move on. Mr. Corbera always drives fast. Wow. And look at the picture. It's going really fast. Speed of light. So Mr. Corbera always Corbera. drives. Mr. Cordera may have an accident, surely. <laughs> they, exactly, surely, exactly. Soon, Mr. Cordera may, may 
Uh, and... We have an accident shortly. Oh no! People don't. If you have a car or motorcycle, don't be crazy, all right? Because I'm telling you, because there are crazier people out there. I must local support. I am. Wow. Yes. It's just, especially motorcycle people are crazy. All right. So be careful. All right. Uh, okay, Mr. Corbera may have an accident because he drives very fast. So it, always, always, all right. So this one is May. Josue and Carlos are going to a party at 11 p.m. And look at the image or the icon there. Danger. Why can you tell me about this one? What possibility can Carlos and Josue have? Hello. They may. Mm. No, come to. They may. They may. They may. They may. They may. For example, they may not. Not enjoy the party. Because very early. Or they come back. They PM. may have a hangover tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, they may, can, they may not cannot going to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They may not work tomorrow. Okay, they have a Okay, they may not work tomorrow. Yes, because they are going to a party at 11 p.m. It's very late, so they might not. They may not work tomorrow or might not work tomorrow. You can also say they might not sleep tonight or that night. They might not sleep that night or they may not sleep that night. Both are correct. Yes. Uh, I don't think there's more to do. I think there's one more. Okay, there isn't any more. Now, we're going to go back to the book. No, wait. We're going to go back here to share our examples or to participate. Okay, people, es su turno. It is your turn. I'm uh, bringing the examples back in this way. You can see them. You can look at them and you can share your own example. Look at them. People, let's, let's see. Uh, give me, give me two examples. One example with me and one example with might expressing your, your future possibilities, okay? Okay, pero que sea de verdad. <laughs> My future. One, okay. one example with me and one example with might, okay? About you, about you. Acerca de ustedes. I'm going to write mine in the chat. You see? I may twenty twenty in twenty twenty four. I might become the president. That's not. Okay. I just finished my examples. You can see them in the chat. Yes. we need to write the sentence in the chat. No, no, you don't have to, you don't have to. Oh.
me ha dejado a Lars Weekend. <risa> Imposible, mire, este, que es, cuando queremos que sea más, más larga, la, la, la semana más corta es. Yes, teacher. Yes. Can be possible. You're right. I may rest all day. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good for you, Sandra. I... Oh, sorry, Sandra, you were saying? Pero lo puso, no sé si lo puso al revés, uh, Sandra. Bueno, primero está bien, pero el segundo creo que no. Might I go to work to work on Sunday? I might, I might go. Yes. Guys, are you ready? We're gonna share, we'll share them right now. Let me see, let's start. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you. Let's see, Raquel, Elizabeth, you are the first one. Um, I may, I may read more books in the week. I may read more books on the weekend. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, she's got only one example. Thank you, Raquel, for sharing. Diana, comparta. Okay. Um, I may go this Sunday. To visit my parents. Okay, and the other one? I may go this Sunday to visit my parents. Yes, yes. Son dos, son dos. Uno con May y uno con May. Uh, I may go to church this Sunday. I may, sorry? I may go to church. This Sunday. Oh. Okay, I may go to church this Sunday. Yes. yes. Thank you, Diana, for your examples. Yeah. Excellent. Let's let's continue. Uh, let me see, Jancy. She's there. Brian, are you there? He's not available. Let's continue with Jorge. Jorge? Hi. Uh, I may meet um, tonight. Hello? Can you repeat it again? Because it's a little congelado. Hello? Un momento. Yes. I might shopping a new cell phone tonight. Mm, I might might buy. Might buy buy. Oh, okay. Buy buy. A cell phone right now, dijo. Cell phone, new cell phone. Wow. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> might. I mean, no. I may not. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, my connection is so bad. It's okay, don't worry. <laughs> it is bad. Okay. Don't don't worry, Jorge. Take it easy, all right. Uh, Carlos, yes, Carlos. Alberto. Um, okay. Um, I might sleep tonight for a baby after class. <laughs> okay. Uh, the order is I may do the reportage for Friday. Reportaje in English. Teacher, how do you say reportaje? Reportaje in English. New report. New report. A news. Oh, okay, a news. that's good. A new report. Okay, I might do there a new report. A new report for Friday. 
Okay, for Friday, yes. All right. Yes, thank you, Carlos, for sharing. Excellent. Good job. You're Sandra? welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Sandra? Me. I may have a large weekend. Mm -hmm. And my, no, I might go to the war on Sunday. Really? On Sunday? People, who, who works on Sunday? Who <laughs> trabaja el sábado? Me. Perdón, domingo. Domingo. Sometimes. In, in my work, it can be possible, teacher. El domingo, no. Wow. Not Sunday, people. Not Sunday. Sunday is God's <laughs> day. <laughs> Sunday is God's day. Impossible. Uh, les cuento, estuve, estuve con tres trabajos hace un par de meses. Estuve con tres trabajos. Trabajaba de lunes a domingo sin parar. Trabajaba de seis de la mañana hasta las once p.m. Oh, oh, oh. No, yes. <laughs> no. Sí, y luego de eso no, no. perdí, perdí, perdí mi, mi, mi... habilidad de escuchar en el lado izquierdo. Perdí mi, mi habilidad por eso. Casi no comía y tomaba agua y dormía, entonces uh, perdí parte de, 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 de mi escuchar. Es muy peligroso. Es muy peligroso. Tuve que renunciar uno. <ríe> Tuve que dejar uno. Tenía tres trabajos. Era imposible. Impossible. Impossible. <ríe> yes. Yeah, people need to rest. Yes, I know, I know. Me quedo de lección. Ya no escucho muy bien el destruido, pero así es la vida. Yes. All right. Excellent. Let's continue. Uh, Alejandra, share your examples. Um, I may go to the beach in two weeks. Okay. And I might get a new cell phone the next month. Okay. I might get a new cell phone next month. I might get a new cell phone in 2025, in two years. In my case, because I don't have money to buy one. <laughs> no, yes. Okay. Thank you, Alejandra, for sharing. Sara, do you have your examples, Sara? I may go to shopping on Sunday. I may go shopping. Go well, shopping on Sunday. I may go shopping on Sunday. Yes. And the other one? I'm. I mean, it's a lot of. Sorry? I mean, I mean, rest all day. Oh, might. Might. I might rest all day. Okay, I might rest all day. Yes, yes. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, thank you. Let's continue with Melanie. Yes, teacher. Um, I may go to play in the park. Play? In the park. In the park, all right. Oh, I make to, I may go to learn English very well. I may? Go to learn English very well. I may go, okay. Okay, yes. I yes. may, I may go to cook ro roast beef on Sunday okay. to okay. the beach. Delicious. <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, con el verbo go, podemos decir go to buy. Okay, I will, let's say I will go to buy, I will go. Then a chat, I will go to buy a car, I will go buy a car. Rust. Se pueden usar las dos que están ahí. Pueden eh, omitir la preposición to. I will go to buy. A veces se omite, lo pueden omitir, no hay ningún problema. I will go buy. Ok. Yes. Yes. Ok. Puede que sea tú, no problema. Ok. It's not a problem with two. Yes. Thank you. Let's continue with you, Ismael. I may have a day off this Friday. Mm -hmm. And I might study a third language. Okay, I might study another language. Thank you, Ismael, Carlos, Eliezer. Go, share, please. 
Um, I may go to my work tomorrow. Okay, I may and go. Second, uh, and second, I might marry with Adele. <laughs> I might what? I might, uh, might sorry, uh, marry with Adele. Marry? Adele. Adele, sí. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Me he escuchado, me he escuchado. Hey, Carlos. Tranquilo. Okay, that one is a, a very, that's a very impossible possibility. Okay, but you, you never know, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think, uh, at least, did you share? Yes, I think, uh, I may go to my work tomorrow. I may remove. To, I may go to the movie. Oh, I may go to the movies. Okay. Okay. Uh, I may to go to the visit my parents. I might visit, or I might go visit. I might visit my parents, or I might go visit my parents. Repeat it. Okay. I might visit my parents. Ah, uh -huh, there you go. Yes. Fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Raquel. Sí, verdad, compartió. Raquel Elizabeth. Yes. Okay. I think we finished. Now, we're going to continue, guys. Thank you for your participation. You did a very good job. Yes. All right. Now we're gonna go to the book and in the book we have more examples and we have more activities. All right, let me see. Number four, uh, how to use may and might. We already did this. I told you to use may in the formal way. And uh, I told you to use might in an informal way, informal as well. And uh, the possibility is from 60 to 80 percent okay percent percent and this one might might be from 15 to 45 percent there you go okay excellent let's see we're going to read these examples uh, carlos alberto read carlos Please help yes. me read the examples with May. Of course. Um, I may ask for a refund. Mm -hmm. You may uh, you may buy at a different store. They may not provide a good service, and I may not reach your expect expectation. Expectations. Thank you, Carlos. I may You're ask. Welcome. Yes. I may ask for a refund. You may buy at a different store. You can say ara. Unir las tres palabras, las dos palabras, perdón. Y decir ara, ara. La T se convierte en R. Y pueden decir ara. You may buy at a different, different store. They may not provide a good service. And it may not reach your expectations. Reach, alcanzar. Okay. Pueda que no alcances tus expectativas. Right. Thank you for that uh, and for reading. Let me see. Ismael, can you please read uh, might? Examples with might? Yes. Uh, she might want a refund on those units. Mm -hmm. They might complain about the service. We might ask to talk with the supervisor. He might not buy here again. Okay, all right. She might want a refund on those units. They might complain about the service. We might ask to talk with the supervisor. And the last one, he might not buy here again. Oh, se me acabó comentarles esto. No se puede contractar este, el may not o el might not. 
me refiero al negativo, sería may not separado igual que my not. No se puede decir my, mayn't, that's not even correct. Si quiere existe ese mayn't. Y el mayn't tampoco existe, ok. Así que si los ven en algún lado, no están correctos. Puede que los vean en música o en alguna canción de raperos. Pero no está correcto, ok. No existe el negativo contractado, solo separado. Ok, yes. It doesn't exist. Let me see. Aquí es el mejor. <laughs> Ok, uh, y acá una observación con el verbo. ¿Sabe qué significa esto? Hello. No, 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 really. no, 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 queja. queja. Queja, yes. No es quejarse, es queja. El verbo es sin te. Complain. Complain. Es quejarse. Ahí está en el chat. Si ponemos la T, sería queja. Está incorrecto, ¿ok? Eliminemos la T y pongamos solamente, bueno, digamos solamente complain. They might complain about the service. With no T, ¿ok? Yes. Si ponen la T, se convierte en un sustantivo que significa queja. Quejas. Excelente. Very good. Let's move on. And we are going straight to part number five, which says, oh, there is something is okay. <laughs> it says here on part number five, create sentences using the words provided and may or might. Write a compliment when needed. Dice, crea oraciones usando las palabras previstas, las que están allí en el 1 a 6, y may y might. Escribe un complemento si, bueno, cuando sea necesario, dice ahí. So, people, let's go. Let's do from one uh, to number six. I'm going to give you four minutes to finish this. Four minutes. Vamos a usar may y might. Okay? Yes. Y we got number one, two, number one, number three, and number six are negative. Son negativas. People, vamos, let's go. Let's go, let's go.
Guys, are you ready? Let me know. Me teacher, uh, the first uh, sentence, uh, he may not be satisfied. Okay, okay. But you, you can add a compliment there. With... Ah, okay. Uh, may uh, He may not be satisfied with the last uh, movie or superheroes. That's okay, it. the last superhero movie. The last superhero. This. Okay, the last superhero movie. All right. He may not be satisfied with the, the last superhero movie, but you can you can use may or might. All right. That's up to you. Up to you. Thank you, Brian, for for that one. Uh, let's see. We're going to continue sharing. Okay. Let's see the second one, people. Uh, the warranty. The warranty of my okay, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, okay. The warranty of my TV might be longer because it's a uh, LG. Okay. LG Mark. Brand, brand, brand. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. The warranty, the warranty of uh, my TV, dijo, parece. My, my, the warranty of yes. my TV. Might yes. be longer. Okay, keep mm -hmm. it okay, buddy. Yeah, we said it might be longer, may be longer, depending on what you're talking about. Okay, yes, yes. Thank Again, you. uh, we're going to repeat number one. Denise, read number one. Your example in number one. Uh, the number one. Yes, number one. Your example. He might. He might. He might not be satisfied with the ser service. Okay, he might not be satisfied with the service. Yes, thank you for sharing it. The second one, Sandra, el segundo. The warranty be longer. Your example. The, war the warranty might be longer. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, the warranty might be longer. Yes. Okay, thank you, Sandra, for sharing it. Let's see, let me continue down here with Raquel. Raquel Elizabeth, number three. The service may, may not excellent. May not be, may not be. May not be excellent. Okay, the service may not be excellent. You can add a compliment there, or you can add something to make it longer. For example, the service in the new restaurant may or might not be excellent. The same example, el mismo, el mismo. Okay, let me see. As uh, Melanie, el mismo, number three. Uh, the server may not be excellent. Okay, the service may not be excellent, right? Yes. People, I might, I might eat something later. <laughs> I am hungry. Yes, I am hungry. But I might, I might. The service may not be excellent. Okay, the service may not be excellent. Thank you, Melanie, for your participation. Number four, Ismael, okay, with sure. number four. Okay, um, may you recommend me a good restaurant? Okay, may you recommend me a, a restaurant? Okay, yeah, yeah, it is okay. But, okay, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Carlos Eliezer, el mismo, number four. Uh, you may recommend a movie. Okay, you may, you may recommend a movie. Okay, thank you. Sara, read number five. The waiter may be in a hurry. Uh, okay, the, the waiter. The waiter may, may, be, may be in a may hurry. Be or, in a hurry. Or the waiter might be in a hurry. 
Ok, Diana. Diana, read the same one, la número 5, la misma. Ok, um, the waiter will be a uh, hurry. In a hurry, ok, yes. Hurry, In hurry, yes. Ok, muy bien, thank you. And we have the last one, the last one, uh, let's see, Victoria. Amanda may not use the car. Okay, Amanda may not use the car. Let me see, it is. Amanda may not, not use the computer. Okay, Amanda may not use the computer. Okay, yes. Thank you, everyone, for your participation. We're going to stop here and we're going to continue with part number six. We are not going to finish part number six, okay, because our time is limited. Tenemos tiempo limitado, así que no. La, la intentaremos hacer o comenzar. And we are going to present it tomorrow. All right? Yes. So let's read what activity number six is all about. Your turn. Create a conversation where you are dissatisfied with a product and say what you might, sorry, what you may or might do about it. So we're going to come up with a conversation in which you are angry, okay? In which you are dissatisfied with any product, shoes, shirts, clothes, furniture, cars, etc., whatever, okay? And you, you have to express or you have to say what you may and might do about it, okay? That's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you around 10 minutes to be working on it. In, the, in couples or trios or threesomes, yes, we're going to do that right now. Let me make the groups. Uh, what you can do is take notes, escribanla para que mañana sea solo para presentarla y no estén uh, perdidos con qué grupo va y todo eso, ok? I will take a picture. Let's go. Vamos. Let's go, people. Teacher, I am probably connected. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, let me send you the invitation again. Pero me envió la la la. Okay, acá la voy a agregar. Permítame qué grupo estaba. No, ninguno. <laughs> Aquí. <laughs> okay, vamos a ver. Acá la. Le agregué a uno. Let's go. No problem, teacher. Yes, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> En, en, en la dos tal vez que yo creo que era 
No, déjame, entonces voy a, voy a tomar los número dos, entonces, espérame, el dos. Ya está, Melanie. Or hello, hello. You are calling to to what? To Walmart. <laughs> you calling to, to Walmart or La Curacao? <laughs> um, Walmart. Okay, you are calling to Walmart. How can I? How can I help you? Uh, for example, for, uh, the television, what you I did not work for me? The television is not working. Uh -huh. The television that you buy. Eh, yo soy el cliente. Yes. No. Yes. Le puse en el chat. Yes, you are the client. The television I got from you is not working. The TV, the TV I got from you is not working. Okay. The TV I got from you is not working. Okay, so uh, the TV I got from you is not working. Then I'm going to ask you something about oh, uh, about the the warranty. Maybe it is. You, you can say you can say uh Denise, cuando, cuando le diga ella eso, the TV I got from you is not working. You can say uh. They may, or it may be broken, you know. Yeah, I see. I see. Who said I use a may. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. For example, the mm. the TV it's not store store on. The TV is what sorry? The TV does not turn on. No, it's in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Turn yeah. on. Okay. The TV does not turn on. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. So the TV might might have broken. Might be, might be broken. Might be broken. Okay. The, broken. the TV might be broken. Broken. Uh, mm, May I may I ask you about the the warranty? Oh, or may I may I I don't know how to to ask this. What? How can I? How can I ask her um, if she can give me the date 
uh, or, or the warranty, the finish of the oh. warranty. Expiration, the expiration date. Oh, the expiration date. May. Se puede decir, may I, may I know, may I. May I know. No, eh, about your warranty. Si lo puedo tener, warranty. Yes. About your warranty expiration, right? Warranty. Así lo puse en el chat. Doble pregunta le puse. Uh, may okay. I know about your warranty? When does it expire? Okay. Okay. I will see you later, okay? Yes, yes. Thank you, teacher. Yes, no problem. The guarantee may... For three years. For three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. for, for three years. Yeah, I can offer... I'm making... I may offer you the warranty information for for three years. For, for May in May, the guarantee for teacher is correct the seal the guarantee make I don't know. May For three years. May durar three años. May last. Last. May last. last. Uy, espérame, lo puse, lo puse privado. Lo envié a mí. Last. Como último. Como último. Last. Last. Tres años. Three years. Three years. Espérame, para la aquí. The warranty. The warranty. Sí. May, 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 I may offer you the warranty. Y le puse en el chat. Warranty can, oh, might. Might. Mm -hmm. can. Quita el can y póngale might. The warranty might ah. last <coughs> up to three years. Quiere decir la, la garantía puede durar hasta tres años. Mm. The guarantee might. Oh. All right. Continue, guys. See you later. Yes. yes. Uh, show the, me. Show me. The after, no, no. no uh, show me. Uh, I made. No, no, no. I may. I may visit. Me, uh, visit a uh, uh, teacher sorry almacen in english shopping center or what warehouse uh, almacen in english is warehouse warehouse warehouse, uh, warehouse. Uh, okay uh, i might visit i might visit the uh, the warehouse again me or oh, i don't know it's current Okay. Um, told me. Hey, um, may don't be to the name. After, let me see, can be right. Uh, um, okay. Oh, my my brain is block. <laughs> my what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brain, teacher. Your brain is not braining. <laughs> brain. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't have my my idea. Clear my yes. ideas. I have an equation. Yes. Your brain uh, is not braining. <laughs> your brain is not braining. Teacher, I have an equation. Yes. Este es que en el grupo hubo un anuncio que dice que el viernes no vamos a tener clases, pero el sábado sí. Es wow. así. In the group. Mm. 
No, 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 de, quería decir de que el sábado iban a retomar otra vez las clases, de, o sea, iban a trabajar ellos normal el sábado, pero no las clases, Ay, si te vas a ver, de hecho, ah, no, de hecho sí, sí hay, hay grupos los sábados y domingos, creo. ajá, Los domingos no sí, sé, pero ya tiene su, su, su horario ellos, pero, su horario. pero nosotros, pero yo nosotros dije que no. solo iban a, a correrse un día, Pero Así nosotros no. Así no. Así no. Yo esperando. No. I have No. a, I have a picture of, of the groups already. Así que pronto Okay. los lo llevaré a la, a la sala principal, ¿ok? Okay, Pronto, okay, pronto. teacher. In one Okay, minute okay. or two. Yes, see you later. Guys, are you done? Yes, teacher, we finish. Excellent. Okay, as suspected. Uh, we're not going to present today. We're going to do Yes, it teacher. tomorrow. I have a picture of everybody in the groups, so I know who is in the groups and who is not. Uh, we hope. We hope. We write the the conver conversation in the chat, teacher. Dice allí Jorge, no, una hora. Lo que, bueno, lo que veo dice, we hope a sense the new laptop in two days. Yes, teacher. What, what does it mean in Spanish? Esperamos que envíe. Uh, yo Esperamos, creo que se puede esperamos, enviar. esperamos All right. enviar. Ah, Creo ok. que sería play. Ok, Recuerdo, all right. dije ayer, ¿Recuerdan ayer que teníamos el verbo need, want, que se separan los verbos con, la, con el to? Ok, here. We hope to. Yes. We hope to. Y el verbo send es, es in S. Send. Ok. Ok, 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 teacher. Y recuerden, si hay dos verbos, tiene que haber una diferencia en, en, en los dos, una diferencia o una diferencia en medio, ya sea el tú que agregamos o un verbo normal y uno con ing. Ok, pero no se puede poner los dos juntos de la misma forma, solo con el go sí se puede, como go drink, ahí sí se puede. Solo con el verbo go y el verbo let, let y help, esos tres. Se puede usar con otro verbo sin, sin usar nada. Ok. Yes. All right. It's already 10 p.m. Let's go back to the main session. Ok. Regresemos a la sala principal. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I was muted. Is everybody back? Ya todos volvieron. I don't think so, creo que no. Yes. Mi Sandra, mi Sandra and Sara, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, we're not going to uh, present the activity right, right now or today because we don't have time. We're going to uh, do it tomorrow. I have a picture of everybody so I know who is in your groups, okay? So tomorrow in the first minutes or maybe in at the end of the class, we're going to continue with this activity, all right? Yes. Let me take attendance really fast. <laughs> yes. Okay, Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Yes. Uh, Azalia Pena de Portillo. Present. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Brian David Ramirez. Present teacher. Brian, are you going to stay? Me? Yes. Yes, no problem. Okay. Thank you, Brian. Amazing. Yes. Let me continue with uh, Carlos Alberto o Orrego. Here, teacher. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. I'm here, teacher. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Diana Yamilet Maravilla. Present, teacher. Yes, Edith Adilia Hernández. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. 
Present teacher, good night, everybody. Good night, Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Mayra was not here today. Rafael was not here either. I think Rafael is not going to continue. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Present teacher. Sara. Present teacher. And Jancy Andrea. Present teacher. All right. People, gracias, gracias infinitas por estar acá. See you tomorrow. Los veo el día de mañana, ¿ok? Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. I'm sleepy. Okay. Good night. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Wow. Hello, Brian. Hello, teacher. Uh, we have some minutes to discuss your questions or your confusion or your complication. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Tell me. So you were you were having uh you were confused with wood, right? From wood está confundido. Eh, no, no era una complicación, sino que tenía esa pequeña duda con respecto ah, a esas dos variaciones. De, de cómo era el orden, ¿ok? Yes, yes. Okay. Sí, porque, porque, bueno, sí, y si, y si gusta darme esa pequeña diferencia entre, entre uno y el otro, para estar un poquito más claro, porque con, cuando intenté solventarlo, yo me quedé, quizás estoy mal, quizás, o sea, cuando ya salió mal o yo ya entré en duda con lo que yo creí que ya, que ya había entendido. Entonces, por sí, eso. Ok. Ok. Su pregunta es, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se usa el wood y el wood light? ¿O no? Más que todo, sí. Ok. Sí, sí. Es, es lo mismo. Solo que el, el wood light ya es una, una, una expresión estándar. Estándar. Ah, ok. Ya está establecida mm -hmm. que así es, que se usa wood light, wood light, wood light con otros verbos, would like to go, would like to drink, would like to check, etc. En cambio, sí. el would solo es como un verbo, pero es para suavizar eh, lo que se está diciendo, como aprendería, iría, compraría, I would buy. ¿Okay? En ese caso se usa un condicional más que todo. Pero vamos a ver acá en la... En la ¿Por qué nací en la plataforma? Lo que han puesto en la plataforma, vamos a ver. Es la 2, ¿verdad? Sección 2. Creo, sí, que es correcto. La, creo que es número 9, si no me equivoco. Tarea 9, tarea 8 o 7, algo así. Si no me equivoco, es justo después del, del uso del quién. El quién y el pool. No me recuerdo. I don't have it. Let's see if maybe it's the last one. Oh, wait. Este es un curso equivocado. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I was no doing, I was doing uh, something there like that ain't good. Okay, let me show you that here. I don't want to do this. Okay. Uh, in the general terms, would is a formal modal verb. What we express, whatever, whatever we express with would is formal. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes. For example, like it's más común, I would, I would like to have a salad. I would like to have a salad. Oh, would like is very common in restaurants or uh, food places or uh, drinking places. They use this this uh, would like a lot. Okay. La pregunta que usan, que usan mucho es would, uh, would you like? Would you like? And then they offer they offer you two different things. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. And that and that question is is very very formal in restaurants in drinking places. 
Yes, would you like? Even in, in shopping places, they use that, okay? Would you like to see the, the, the red shirt? Would you like to see the, the, the black shoes, et cetera? Mm -hmm. okay? okay, yes. Ese es con like. Usamos dos verbos unidos, aparte del would. Está el would, que es el modal, luego está like, y luego otro verbo después del like, separado con el to. I would like to have a salad, okay? En cambio, el would, el would con otros verbos, se le agrega el ia a todos los verbos. El ia. Uh, I would eat. Comería. Yes, I would eat. Comería. Pero en este caso, cuando decimos, cuando usamos el would con otros verbos, estamos, estamos usando dos oraciones. Ok. No puedo decirle comería. Aquí ah, ya no sé, utilizaría el tú. Eh... No, eh, por esa no parte, diría... I would eat too, por ejemplo. No, no, no diría el tú. Eso aplica solo con el like. Con like. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. ok. Yeah. I would like having a salad. I would like to have a salad. Ok. En el caso de abajo dice comería. Dice, uh -huh. I would eat a pizza. Yo le digo a usted, comería una pizza, pero queda, queda como, como, como al aire la, la, la oración. Comería una pizza. Sí, porque queda así como que una... Una simple suposición, por decirlo así. Ajá, como que falta la, falta, falta la, la, la condición. Comería pizza si... Sí. Ajá. Entonces, así usamos, usamos el, el, el wood en este caso. Ok, con, con condiciones. Ese es el segundo condicional en inglés. Ok. Ok. Que, sí. no, es, que, no, que no es real, es algo, algo ficticio o inventado. Uh, if I had money, observe Comería una pizza si tuviera dinero. I don't have money. No tengo pizza, mm -hmm. entonces no es real, right? I would eat the pizza if I had, if, if, sorry, but the, if, si tuviera dinero. Ok. Yes. If I money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Se podría decir así, I would eat a pizza. Pero en ese caso sería que ya, ya te le han preguntado a usted qué, qué comería. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Por ejemplo, sí. if I ask you, Brian. Would you would you eat a pizza or a hamburger? Y usted puede responder. Eh, I will eat a pizza if I have money. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Pero de igual forma, ambas, ambas sí se pueden utilizar. Sí, 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 ambas se pueden usar. Se puede usar okay. el would con cualquier verbo que, que sea lógico, porque hay unos que no son lógicos, entonces no tienen sentido. Okay. Sí, sí. Veamos Creo que ejemplo. la misma palabra lo dice. Sí. Otro, otro, otra, otro ejemplo podría ser I would walk. I would walk. Caminaría. I would walk if I weren't. Caminaría si no estuviera enfermo. I would walk if I weren't sick. ¿Ok? Esa es otra yeah. condición, ¿ok? Entonces se usa más que todo el would con otros verbos para condiciones. Para condiciones. Más que todo, ¿ok? Se usa para otras cosas, sí, en otros contextos, sí. ¿Ok? Pero mayormente se usa para uh, los, los condiciones. ¿Ok? Con el if. Con el if. Ok. Yes. That's clear. Pero igual tenemos una lección para, de, para esto con el would. Creo que será mañana o el día lunes. No recuerdo muy bien si será mañana o el lunes. Creo que es mañana. Yes. Creo okay. que sí mañana, porque justamente como es una tarea por día, ¿verdad? por decirlo de sí. alguna forma, eh, como yo a veces me tomo el tiempo de ir un poco más adelantado, porque para sí. el módulo anterior, eh, sí. sin querer, ya lo había completado todo. Y yo sí. le pregunté al teacher, ¿y ahora qué sigue? ¿verdad? ¿Por dónde va? Y yo, ah, voy por acá. Ah, pues ya lo terminó. Me, me dije. Entonces, ah, ok. Dije, porque, o sea, yo me dejé llevar de un solo. ¿verdad? Cuando me vine sí. a dar cuenta, ya lo había terminado todo. No, Entonces, mejor, pero sí, era más que todo eso. Ok, mucho mejor. Si, si termina antes, mejor, que okay, no hay problema. En ese caso ya, ya está usted más tranquilo, ya no se preocupa que tiene que hacer tareas todos los días, sin no ningún problema. Sí, correcto. Uh -huh. okay. Uh, ok, pero le agradezco. Yes, no problem, no problem. Brian. A veces hay pequeños detalles que no nos recordamos o que nos confunden, entonces usted pregunte siempre, ok. Que sea algo, algo que se vea insignificante, usted pregúnteme, ok. Pregúnteme. Entendido. Sí. Muchísimas gracias. Ok, muy bien. Brian, thank you for your time. Okay. Descansen, vemos mañana. Cuídense mucho, okay? Buenas noches. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, tomorrow. Good night.